And the book actually starts with the instructions. In order to draw a back draft, trace the front draft. Include the hip line, the crotch line, the knee line, and the crease line. This is your crease line. I refer to it as a longitudinal line, just because I think maps. Uh, same thing with a sleeve. It's the long longitudinal line. Just helps me keep things straight. Not everybody irons their pants, so you may or may not know what a crease line is. <laughs> we should bring back ironing your pants. There have been times here in the lab I've wanted to just shut the doors, take my pants off, run them through an iron quick. Cause I'm like, man, I should have thought about this before I left the house this morning. <laughs> but now we can throw in a load of laundry, iron your clothes, get dressed, whatever. I got food in the back. We can survive. I can, we can just live here. Now, if we need to think about in relation to the front, um, where is I going to be? I is going to be this point right here. Okay. And we're not going to put I in because we're drawing a different crotch shelf here. But we need to know where it was on the original. So on from the original I, we are going to measure vertically down 5 eighths of an inch and put in a new point. This is going to become A. It's going to be right there. From A to B, we are going to extend B out this direction. This is how we're going to get our crazy crotch shelf. You need to take your hip circumference, full hip, not high hip. Your full hip circumference divided by 16. And then add a quarter of an inch. We did this math once for me. A 40 divided by 16. It's 2.5. 2.5. And then we add the quarter inch. So that's 2.75. Now cut that in half. It's a little more than three quarters of an inch. Okay, so I'm just going to do a full inch because it'll be cleaner on my math. Okay, so B is just going to extend straight out from A. Hip circumference divided by 16 plus a quarter of an inch. Once again, the book gives you a range here from an eighth of an inch to three eighths of an inch. If they're only giving me a quarter inch range, I pick the cleanest number. Quarter of an inch can be mitigated with a seam allowance. Know what I mean? Okay, now we're gonna just leave our pencil there for a minute and we're gonna shift our focus to the knee line. On the knee line, to the outside of both lines, you're going to add half an inch to both of them and then draw a straight line down to your hemline. So we're just extending the pant leg out in the back part of the leg and making the pant leg wider in the back than it is in the front. Why would we do this? So this becomes C, this becomes D. Why would we make the pant leg wider in the back than in the front? Think about anatomy of a leg. You have more fullness back there than you do on the front. So. Yeah, from the knee down, you got a calf mm -hmm. muscle that has to engage, especially if you're sitting, walking, striding, lunging, crouching, whatever else you're doing to engage that leg. And you have more muscle back there than you do in the front. But from the knee line up, why are we gonna add more? Because you got a bum. 
but also because it helps the brake lines in the front of the pants stay clean and straight and fall with gravity to the floor. And it allows the extra fullness to be shown in the back, not in the front. So as you meet people, it gives a straighter, more put together first impression. Remember these pants are for slacks, not jeans. So we're expecting a straight brake front in the front, which is why the longer crotch shelf in the back. They can be adjusted for jeans, and I don't know that I would put all the extra in the back in a pair of jeans. However, for comfort, to not have your out seam and your in seam and your crotch line all on the exact same place as they are on other pairs of pants, having them offset actually is quite nice. It doesn't chafe nearly as badly as you think you would because it just sits at a different level on your muscle which is kind of nice. Okay, so the point between C and B, I want you to find halfway. So for me, that's gonna be about right there. If I were to draw a straight line between B and C, oh look, my mark, dead on, accurate. Man, I'm good. From this point here, we are going to extend into the pant leg half an inch. We're still not calling it a real point. I think the book writers got tired at this point and they just decided we're gonna quit telling you what the points are if they're not real. You are gonna draw a slightly curved line from C, making sure you hit this interior point, not the exterior point, but the interior one, and then curving to B. Um, and you've just redrawn an inseam. How far does the side point from This is half an inch. Once again, the book is giving a range, but the range is less than a quarter of an inch, which can all be managed with a seam allowance. So I just pick the number that's easiest to work with. You got it, Brick? That was a slightly confused look, so. 